Hi, this year in 2025, with time being reduced for the NEET exam from 200 minutes to 180 minutes, let me tell you one thing, the people who will manage the time, they will win the NEET game. Yes, if you manage the time well for the NEET exam, you will win the game. Now, how will you manage this time? Let me tell you one thing, no NEET toppers I have seen. I have not met a single NEET topper who did not have a strategy to manage their time in the NEET exam. So you will have to have a strategy, first step number one. Now, I will be sharing about certain strategies, but one size does not fit all. So you will have to develop your own personalized strategy. Suppose there are 25 lakhs plus people who will be writing NEET exam this year. They all will have their individual strategy if they are going to look for winning the game. So I may suggest you something, but you will have to experiment and refine and make a strategy for your own. Now, with this having said that, let's start. How many minutes are there for the NEET exam? 180 minutes. How many questions are there? 108. No confusion about it, right? Now, if you want to manage time well, you will have to just break it down. Break down the time for different components and then manage it to finally reach your goal. Out of 180 minutes, 5 seconds time approximately is being taken for one bubbling of one answer in the OMR sheet. Seeing the answer, OMR sheet bubbling is going to take 5 seconds if you do it very cautiously, comfortably, in a relaxed way. Okay. Now, so 5 seconds per question, 180 questions, 900 seconds, which is coming to 15 minutes. So 15 minutes out for OMR sheet bubbling. You are left with now 165 minutes. 15 minutes, my recommendation, leave it for exigencies, emergency, anything which you have not anticipated or to review the difficult questions. So 15 minutes are also out. So now you are left with 150 minutes. Yes. 150 minutes, two and a half hours is the ideal time. 150 minutes you should target to finish your entire paper. Now, how to break it down? I'll recommend you something. You develop your own strategy on that. 150 minutes, 40, 50, 60. Bio, chemistry, physics. 40 minutes, bio, 50 minutes, chemistry, 60 minutes, physics. Yes, you should track only for this. If you are doing it, you are finishing the entire paper in 150 minutes. If you want to improve your time in biology, you can further split it in botany and zoology. Botany 20 minutes, zoology 20 minutes. See whether you're able to solve. If not, see where is the portion you're taking longer time. Now, many students who will do it, and I think I will also do it, is you will be going through the easy questions and then leave the questions which you are doubtful about or you are getting stuck with. So suppose you attempted biology 90 questions and you left 10 questions here. You left 10 questions in chemistry, you left 10 questions in physics, uh, 30 questions that you left. Now you must have saved some time also in leaving these questions. So suppose you finished in 120 minutes this entire paper. Now you are left with 30 minutes and 30 questions which are pending that you want to review. So this is the way you can attempt the question in 150 minutes. This is just one recommendation, 40, 50, 60, breaking it down, botany, zoology. These are just simple, simple rec recommendation. You will have to work on these strategies, check it how it works for you and you can accordingly, according to your personal style, you can customize it. Once you customize, then you take the second mock test paper, you check how you are circling the OMR sheet, how much time are you taking, which is a better strategy for you and you will customize the strategy and with time now, before the exam, you will take a lot of mock tests, you will do a lot of practices and you will refine these strategies to suit you and finally come to one strategy which will stick to. Please understand, okay, for an example, if Milka Singh, when he was running in Rome Olympics in 1960, where he did not get the medal for India, but he regrets it as one of the biggest mistakes. When he was running the race, the first initial time, he was leading everyone. He was the fastest, but he just got one thought that perhaps I am running too fast, so I may run out of energy and he slowed down. The moment he slowed down for a fraction of a second, everybody crossed him. And he says, this is my biggest regret of life. You know why? He has changed the strategy at the time of running in the final race. That's not a smart idea. So everybody has to have a strategy, refine it over a period of time, customize it to themselves and then put it there in implementation when the need championship is on. Usain Bolt, when he starts running a race, first 30-40 meters, he is not the first in the lot, he is not the fastest because his body is too tall. He takes time to unfold the body. So after 30-40 meters, he speeds up and that is his strategy. If you watch any race of Usain Bolt, the first 30-40 meters, he is not ahead. So he has got a strategy, he has customized himself, he has developed over a period of time and then he sticks to it in all the championships. So you also will have to develop a strategy for managing your time so that you can win the NEET game. And remember, with 180 minutes only this time, 20 minutes cut down, this time the person who will manage time well will win the NEET game. So wish you good luck, have a strategy, make it refined, master it and achieve your goal. Good luck to you.